Okay. So I, I so I said that right. Let's take an example. So the idea is to is to kind of get to the fundamental matrix today. So let me kind of say to take an example to just right, illustrate. Just a, just a few things which we will actually use down the line. So suppose I have uh, I have xy on the xy plane. Suppose I have two lines. Imagine. Let me call this line. Okay, now this coordinate is let's say one, and this is two. And this line is L, and this line is M. Okay, then of course, as far as L is concerned, we know that its equation is like y equal to one. This is for line L, and for line M, right? We know that uh, its equation is right, x equal to two. So in terms of the in terms of the homogeneous representation, right? We can say that L is you know that it's like L one x plus L two y plus L3 equal to 0. So, you can maybe take it as 0, 1, minus 1 and it is anyway valid up to a scale factor. So, it does not hurt if you take 0, minus 1, 1 also and then M is equal to. So, we got like 1, 0, 2 right sorry minus 1, 0, 2 because X equal to 2 okay. Now, if you kind of look at look at the point of intersection right that is some P that is your point of intersection then p is l cross q oh, sorry l cross m the lines the two lines l and m and uh, if i represent l as l1 l2 l3 which is how we did last time and m as m1 m2 m3 then you all know that uh, this cross product right between these two we will take the standard form L2 M3 minus L3 M2 then L3 M1 minus L1 M3 L1 M2 minus L2 M1. So, in this case right you get this as uh, so what is L2 by the way L2 is 1. So, 1 into M3 is 2 minus minus 1 into 0 then minus 1 into minus 1 minus 0 into 2 and then 0 into 0 minus 1 into minus 1. So, this is what is it 2 1 1. 2 1 1 right and if you had taken like 0 minus 1 1 maybe you would have got like minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 and then if you scale by the by the last value right what what you get should be should be the point of intersection okay that is your that is this guy right which is 2 comma 1 okay now we will actually need these things okay down the line and you can also verify that other points right lie on that line and all that right okay one of the things that we do is you know there is uh, so we do what is a skew symmetric matrix representation so, for example, right, if you wanted to take uh, you know cross product between okay, this is cross okay, this is not x. Yeah, this is a, a cross product. Okay, let me put this as y. Right. Then, uh, then we write the the same thing right that we wrote here. We can also write in terms of a matrix vector multiplication right, and that is the standard form. So, let's say this is v1, v2, v3. And we are looking at y s y one y two y three. Then uh, this uh, okay now this okay we have a special kind of a representation for this. We call this as v and then cross, not x. Okay, this is called cross. You would have seen this right earlier. Have you guys seen this? So v cross right? That's simply a skew symmetric matrix which looks like zero minus three v two uh, v three zero minus v one and minus v2 v1 0 i hope this is skew symmetric right oh. yeah it uh, right so this is a skew symmetric matrix and uh, no right it, it's just that you know this actually gives you gives you a way to way to kind of say when, when we go further right we'll use this to say represent a cross product as a kind of a matrix multiplying. So, for example, right, if you multiply this with y1, y2, y3, right, 
So that will give you like minus v3 y1, sorry what happened, no minus v3 y2 plus plus v2 y3 and that is the same as what I wrote before, right. <coughs> and then you will have like v3 y1 minus y3 v1 and then the last one will be like minus v2 y1 uh, plus, uh, plus v1 y2, right, that is what we had, no, is that correct? This is okay, right? Okay. <laughs> now, so uh, so the idea is that, right? You want you have a, a cross product. Okay, then you can actually express it as a as a kind of right multiplication with with the uh, with the skew symmetric matrix. And uh, mm, yeah, and let's now write. I mean, and of course, you know, and you can and you can show that uh, right. I and mean, it's easy to see that v cross. I mean, v is actually you no. Know, v will be in the v will be a, you know, a null vector of of this matrix, right, because I mean v cross v, right, dot v, right, I mean if you do that, that will be 0. So, v is a null vector of uh, this matrix and therefore, it has a rank 2. Uh, yeah, let me, let me come back to the, come back to that uh, matrix business, right, to, to the fundamental matrix because this is all that we need in terms of uh, what we want to use, okay. Let us come back to the F matrix, right in stereo. Uh, so, so let us say that the left camera, right, we have P is equal to K I 0 and uh, right matrix, right camera P dash is equal to let us say K dash. I do not know, we are be using R and something, okay, yeah, okay, well, let us use that or whatever, it does not matter, okay, let us say PL, then KL and uh, we use PR, no? then this will be like KR and then RT, okay. Now, let uh, X tilde, so it is like this, right, so we want again, again, right, go back to this arrangement where we have a 3D point, right, which is seen by by two camera centers, right, C and C dash. And uh, see, right, as opposed to the homography, right, when you had a homography matrix, what was it trying to relate? It was trying to relate two points, right, one point in one image with the other point and another point in the other image. Whereas, if whereas a fundamental matrix, uh, even though, right, it may also look like, you know, it is, it is governing two points, but actually it is, it is mapping, it is, uh, establishing a relation between a point in one image and, and it is say epipolar line in the other image, okay. So, so in that sense the two are going to say different. Homography is between points whereas a fundamental matrix establishes a relation between point in one image with it is epipolar line in this other image, okay. So, let us say that X tilde, right, is this, is this image coordinated right, where this guy, you know, intersects and X tilde as we know is P and then uh, PL, right, in this case. And then we have, let's say, a 3D point. Everything in everything in a say homogeneous coordinates. And uh, then we will say that a corresponding point, right, for this guy, is let's say PR acting on X tilde, the same guy. Okay. Now there are a few things, right, that we have to do as you see manipulation. So let me write this as K left. Uh, Okay, so K left and then uh, we have I0, right, X tilde and this we will represent as KL and then XYZ, right. So, so X tilde of course, right, we, 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 so the X tilde is like XYZ1. So, I0, right, when you multiply with X tilde, you will get like KL into XYZ, okay. So, this is like your X tilde. or x, y, z, right, we can write as k l inverse, right, because as I said, right, this is a, this is an upper triangular matrix and its diagonal entries are non-zero. So, you can always invert it. So, k l inverse x tilde. And uh, if you divide both sides by z, right, if you do like 1 by z, right, x, y, z, then you get like 1 by z 
KL inverse X tilde. Okay. Or K inverse X tilde. Yeah. Okay. So this is equal to KL inverse, right? X tilde. So you can actually think of this as, you know, X Y. 1 and in the sense that right, I mean, you know, x tilde has let us say something right in it which is like you can think about it as x tilde y tilde some z uh, some, some z right which we are trying to divide and uh, this is like this is like the actual right image coordinates. Well yeah there is some say abuse of notation along the way so I am just trying to be careful otherwise you know we can easily slip up here. So K L inverse right x y so, so all that I am doing is I am scaling this guy right x tilde. And you know that the, the know that the last coordinate of actually x tilde is in fact z. Kl has 0, 0, 1 right in its last row. So you know that the, the, the last coordinate of x tilde is actually z. Therefore, if you scale by that z, then you will get the actual image coordinate right in the in the, in the first first reference, the first camera plane. So that's why I'm writing x and y z as the actual image coordinates. X tilde is like this homogeneous form, which is like any multiplication, any any factor of x, any like alpha times x y one. But specifically, when you when you divide by uh, in this case, right, we are specifically dividing by z, and that's for a reason. Okay, so what this means is that uh, right. Let me just follow it up here. So what so what I can then do is right x y z, right is equal to I'll write this as z. Okay, uh, there is a small abuse of abuse of notation. Okay, this most people do. So I'm also doing it here, but uh, then right, but then I've told you clearly what it is. So what they do is right typically. This one is written, okay. Now, till this point, right, this is okay. We can write this as xy1. I am just transferring z on to the other side, okay. But then you actually define something like x of z, okay, some quantity. I mean, I will tell you, right, what this x of z is, okay. And uh, this is like z kl inverse. I am going to write this as okay, right. Here is where, here is where the, where the sort of slight abuse of notation comes, okay x tilde and then 1 okay but this is this one okay this is not the okay this is actual actual image coordinate okay so 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 always remember because you know see earlier we had used x tilde where there was actually the last coordinate was actually containing the depth we scaled it right and then see people just used it i mean right in order to get a say represent that you know it's actually the image coordinate but then they still indicate indicated as x tilde but uh, but just remember that this x tilde is this is x y one. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. So I think till this point it's okay. Huh. X tilde, yeah. X tilde is actually a homogeneous coordinate. But yeah, I mean, see, the idea is that. No, no, no. Homogeneous does not mean that the last one should be one. Homogeneous simply means that any scalar multiple of that vector is all the same point only. Okay, and then if you want the image coordinate, then you should scale by the last one. I mean, if you if you see, it's like saying that I might have alpha x, alpha y, alpha. For all alpha, it's called a homogeneous coordinate because right, I mean, they're all they're all simply related to if you scale, they all map to x, y, one. But I'm saying this x y one, right? I'm saying it's actually the x y is actually the image coordinate now because we've scaled it already. Okay, it's, like more specific. it's more specific in the sense that it is referring to the actual image coordinate itself. Yeah. So, so this step, right? Yeah. So I just wanted to spend some time on this. So, okay. So where x tilde is to be interpreted as x y one, right? Hmm. Origin. 0, 0 is here, yeah. That that and all I haven't changed at all. I mean, we are we are fol following the exact thing. So 0, 0, so so this is the origin and uh, C dash, right? You have to get to get to that. I mean, so the, the the other reference is rotated and whatever translated, right? Mm. Okay. All right. So then, uh, okay. Let me go to the next page. So think of x. Okay, so you can actually think of x z which is actually is actually x y 
z 1 right why that is because okay right that is coming from here that is oops that is coming from the previous one. For example, if you kind of read, read, look at this, so if you have like z and then you have like kl inverse and uh, and if you kind of go back to where I mean right, so if you go back to uh, if you go back to this one right I mean x y z. So, this x y so what do you have here right x y z tilde ah, see here right. So, so in this equation where this is still this is not scale right as yet okay in this place right it is still not scale and uh, and the end and right and then you know in order to get the scaled version right you will have to do like kl by z and that is why I said it is a little confusing okay but it is not so bad. So, it is like x y z do you, do you gonna see this right I mean that is why okay this this requires a little amount of uh, careful attention right see this I am writing this x z right is but actually x y z 1 okay but but then why is it like I say x y z 1 is because of course 1 is that probably right just follows from here right that is x y z is in fact this but then you can also show that you know x tilde written in this form is actually x y 1 that is why I keep saying that is x y 1 and therefore right here this is not x y 1 this is still the x tilde with that z sitting right at the bottom. Therefore, if you push this k l to the other side you will get k l x y z but then the last coordinate of x tilde is still z and therefore, therefore if you divide it by z right that is when you will get x y 1 if you divide it by z then the z and z will cancel k l k l is 1 and uh, identity and then you get x y z okay. So, this so, so this x y x z right that is uh, it all, uh, of course, and it also follows from what we have written at the top, but I just wanted to let you know that this interpretation that x y 1 right is, is, is critical otherwise you will have an extra z sitting there right and then your cancellations would not be right. Hmm? This is okay right? all that I am saying is uh, this x tilde and that x tilde right let us be careful about it that is all because in the slide it is not I mean if you look at the slide I think you will, you will go wrong okay. Then which is actually okay x y z 1. Okay, you can think of which is actually x y z 1 as the as you see back projected ray as the back projected ray from camera center center through right. I mean here is here is why I feel that this x y 1 is very very important through x y 1 because x y 1 is on the image plane right. So, so it is like saying that it is like saying that that right you have the camera center right you have the image plane this is the back projected ray and this coordinate is actually x comma y that is the actual image coordinate and this projected back projected ray and that is why that x tilde that is sitting there has that form x y 1. So, it is like saying that you have a back projected ray which you can take from the center of the camera push it through x y 1 and then and then it you have the back projected ray. and then how do you show that it is actually the back projected ray then what you should do is you know any any uh, the, the p the p left right the p left if you act on x or z you should be able to get this x y 1 because any point on that ray right because it, it can have any z it had like z no see this this one right. But they see again okay, this is a form that they use to sort of convey the fact that right, this is a back projected ray. So, see the z sitting there right this is an arbitrary z right. So, so what it means is that any z that you pick on that ray if this if the if the camera matrix p l acts on that it should actually it should actually project x y 1 that effectively means that you can have a back projected ray going wherever it wants at whatever z it be. But then if I apply my p on that it will always come to come to x y 1 which is on the image x y which is on the image. But you can get x y z also. No x y you should get on the image that is what I mean. that is why so I am saying right, let us be clear about this you see it is like I mean you see it is like I have a camera center and then I have the image plane and I am kind of doing a doing a this one right back back system projection. But now this back projection I am doing from the camera from the image plane now I have a coordinate there no I have a point on the image plane that is x y that is not some homogeneous coordinate at all that is my actual <coughs> image coordinate. So, we so we are going to say looking at looking at a ray that is going from c and then and then right hitting x y 1 and, and going right. Now, if I take this ray which is a back projected ray and if I apply my p l whatever be the z corresponding to this it should come back to this x comma y. Okay, so the z coordinate no. Z coordinate? No, no, it's not. No, 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 no. I'm saying the image coordinate should be x comma y. Let's not talk about z. For any back project, for any point on this back projected ray, if p left acts on it, it should it should map to image coordinate x comma y. Image coordinate. This is clear. 
it's not it's not so difficult but just right, i'm just saying that you should understand why i am why i keep insisting about the xy1 and why actually they have it there but then they don't actually explicitly tell it right so so it's like it's like you have a back projector right that's going and the z can be what, whatever it be but then the moment i apply p on it it will all come back and hit me hit the image plane at x comma y okay so 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 right so in that sense this where did it go ha huh. so 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 in fact in fact so so in fact right, I mean, that's what i wanted to write this in fact xz is expressed in terms of in terms of xy1 precisely for this reason i mean it is not explicitly said precisely for this reason precisely for this reason you see that do see that x tilde sitting there as xy1 that is precisely sitting for this reason that that uh, right, you have this back projected ray and act pl on it every point there irrespective of its z coordinate will come and sit at say that x comma y okay so you can show this right so what you can do is you can take pl then and then it right, you can act it on let's say xz and uh, pl of course was just identity and then zero act it on xz which is actually uh what is that i mean so xz yeah k yeah z uh, z k inverse x tilde right and then one right and then this will mean that uh, this will mean that right you get uh, into 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 say xz right into xz oh, wait a minute no no into xz is already here right so i i one minute k is there no? i forgot k so k is here right and uh, hmm so what happens so right so then this is like k z k inverse x tilde right this is like z x tilde okay and uh, and and this and this x tilde is xy1 that's why i'm saying this is not xyz this is xy1 right and therefore and therefore right, if you actually scale this by z right you 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 will end up with end up with xy1 right irrespective of the irrespective of the z for any z so the z right can be basically anything when you say x of z whatever whatever be that z right that 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 z right the moment you scale uh, so i mean so so you have the z x tilde right x tilde is xy1 so what you are getting is zx zy z to scale it by z you will get xy1 so irrespective of whichever z it be right irrespective of whatever be the z the final coordinate that you get that you will get on the image plane will always be x y 1 is this thing clear eh yeah? okay if this is clear then I, then uh, then right then we can go ahead okay now so so any okay right let me just make it even more clear any 3d point on the on the ac back projected ray on the back projected ray <coughs> maps to the same image coordinate x comma y x comma y okay okay now we know right i mean earlier right what did we say right when we said that right we will try to get to the fundamental matrix right one of the things that we said was we will actually take what did we say we said that we said that right we will actually take take the two points Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. So we said that. So we said that. Right. I mean, we'll take this back projected ray. We'll take kind of two points on this ray, right? And then, and then, uh, and then, right. You have your second camera, maybe right somewhere here. Okay. You have a camera, second camera here with its image plane. Okay. Whatever it is, optical axis. And then, and then we said that we said that. Right. We will see. Okay. Where it comes. Okay. And then, and then the point was if we can actually get the get this point of intersection, which we can get through P, right? Right. We know. We know. We can find out right where this point maps here. where this point maps here and then if you, if you know these two points then we know the what should cross be the epipolar line the cross product should give us the epipolar line okay that's why that is the that is the motivation for doing right what we did before so now the idea is to be able to take is it two point two points on this on this on this is a back projected ray because the, because the epipolar line right is basically coming from that line right epipolar line in the the right epipolar line is coming from this ray right and uh, all that we need are actually two points right on that ray if you can if you can actually project them to pr and then if you take the take this cross product of those of those of those two points right then you will actually get the line okay that is the idea okay now to now in order to get right two points so we need to select two points on 
right, on the A, this is, this is always 